Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jay from Sony Alpha Lab, and what I got in this quick review is the Rode Video Mic Go camera mount shotgun microphone. And basically, what this is, it's just an external microphone that you slide onto the hot shoe of your camera. And I have my A7R here. I'm just going to show you as a demo. And you basically just slide it in the hot shoe, like so, and it'll plug into the audio ports on the side of the camera. And there you go. It just plugs in. And then it has like a little lock here. You can just tighten it down. Now, this is a, an, a very affordable solution for re getting much better audio in the field if you're, you know, interviewing, you're vlogging, uh, run and gun, they call it photojournalist type use. And basically it goes for $69 US. So it's very affordable. Now it's a directional microphone. So it's really optimized for picking up sound in the front here. And it's supposed to cancel you know, sound from the side. So if you just like point it at stuff, it'll pick up the sound like from where it's aimed. Like that's really why it's designed this way. And this actually comes off so you can see what it looks like without it. You can also get like that really fluffy looking wind deterrent. They call it a dead cat um, sleeve. You can slide over it and I'll show you a picture of that. And that'll help in really windy conditions. I tested this on the A6400, which is what I'm recording with right now. And I'm just gonna do a quick review. This isn't gonna be like a super extensive review. I'm not really an audio guy per se. Right now I'm recording with my blue microphone so you can hear what that sounds like. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch to the camera audio. Here's what it sounds like using the camera. And you can see compared to this microphone, the on-camera microphone is pretty horrible. It sounds really tinny, there's not much bass and so forth. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the Rode onto the A6400 so you can hear what that sounds like. Alright, so now I have it mounted on the Sony A6400 in front of me, which is what I'm recording with. And I'm also recording on my studio microphone here. So I'll switch between the two so you can hear the difference, just as a comparison. So what's cool about this microphone is it's very affordable and it's very easy to use. It has just like that one headphone cable type cable. There's no controls on the microphone. All you have to do is adjust the audio levels on the camera. You can mount the microphone in both directions on the camera. So you can mount it this way or you can flip it around and mount it the other way. For example, if you're doing a tutorial and you're behind the camera and you're recording, you know, something in front of the camera but yet you're behind the camera, you can aim the mic at your mouth by putting it on backwards. But in general, for photojournalist slash vlogging purposes, you're going to have it set up like I have it set up on the A6400 where it's aiming at the subject that you're particularly recording. So I have some sample audio of a truck. Also a singer at a Taekwondo competition I was at recently. And I thought the mic worked really well, especially for the money. Now, it, what's cool is it just has that one simple cable and like I said, no controls. All you have to do is adjust the audio levels on the camera itself that you're recording with. So you just go into the audio level area and you just make those adjustments to make sure you're not clipping. You don't want it to go into the red. Other than that, you just point and shoot. It's, it's very simple to use, which is why I got it. I wanted to try it out. It's very similar to the Rode Video Micro, which I used on the Sony RX100 Mark VII review that I did a few weeks ago. It's just a little bit longer, and you know, but it's, it's not as compact as that one, but it's very similar otherwise, meaning it has no controls and it just has that single cable. Now the microphone is powered off the cable that you plug into the camera, so it doesn't require any batteries or anything like that. It has that shock mount on the top of the microphone, so it actually get, has a little bit of movement in there, so you don't get any kind of like banging of the camera sound influence on the mic, other than whatever it picks up ambiently. All right, so this is just a record test at a distance. Now I'm in another room, so you can hear what it sounds like at this distance. 
So I'm just going to walk towards the microphone and keep talking so you can hear what it sounds like. Now it should sound a little better as I get closer. And then the closer I get to the mic, you know, you can hear how the audio is changing. Now if I go to the side here, you can hear how the sound differs from the right to the left and so forth. And when you get right in front of the microphone, it's a lot crisper and it just sounds a little bit better. So that is pretty much it for this review, guys. Like I said, it's a very quick review. I'm pretty new to using external microphones on cameras like this, so I'm still learning myself. But I really did think, you know, for $69, this sounds pretty good. And I also thought the video micro that I used on the RX100 Mark 7 that I recently reviewed also worked really well. And they're both reasonably priced. You know, they're both under $100. And if they, they don't need any external power, they power right off the mic port, so it's super easy to use and so forth. This one isn't as compact as the Video Micro. If you need an ultra compact design, then I would go with the Video Micro. If you, the ultra compactness isn't as much of a factor, then this is also a really good option. And like I said, the foam cover comes off and you can get that really fluffy dead cat one, they call it and that helps for more windy conditions. So if you're in a windy environment, like by the beach or something like that, you would wanna get that other you know, cover on there just to help with the wind. So I just wanted to give you my impressions. You know, I was pretty impressed with it overall and uh, for the money, I thought it worked pretty good and I just wanted to you know, share that with you guys. I really appreciate you checking it out. I hope you got something out of this video and I will catch up with you next time. Please have a great day. Take care.